Okay, so, so I think we can start with the introduction. So today, uh, so welcome everybody, first of all. So today we have the great pleasure of having Michelangelo Mangano from CERN. So Michelangelo is very well known theoretical physicist. Uh, he has given exceptional contributions to the field, to the understanding of uh, uh, the theory of uh, fundamental interactions. And not only this, so along his career he gave important contributions. He, he got involved also in the phenomenological and uh, more experimental aspects of uh, particle physics. physics. So uh, today is one of the, I would say, the rest figures for uh, particle physics uh, in all the aspects of particle physics uh, worldwide. So uh, when it will be possible, he will uh, share with us his vision about present and the present and the future of uh, collider physics, so the LHC to future path in the, in the field. So please, if you want to start saying some, some words. Thank you, Paolo. <coughs> È sempre un piacere essere qui a Torino e sono grato a, a Paolo e agli organizzatori de, dell'opportunità di tornare fra, fra tanti amici. And, ah, sì, in inglese devo parlare. And in particular, I'm happy to, to, to share. I understand that this is a general physics colloquium, so it's not just colleagues in high energy physics, but colleagues from, from other branches of physics. So I'm particularly happy to share with you uh, this overview of where we stand in, in our field. Uh, there is, uh, I don't know how real it is, I don't have statistics, but uh, certainly talking to people, even within the community of high energy physics, many believe that with the discovery of the Higgs, uh, we are pretty much done. We come to, to, uh, to a conclusion point, and uh, it's important to start exploring in different directions. One of the things that I would like to, to try to convince you of today is that indeed uh, the discovery of the Higgs is not the end, but of course it's just the beginning of a completely new period uh, that uh, will uh, reserve hopefully very uh, exciting uh, uh, new discoveries. Now, the way we do high energy physics, the way we are driven in our exploration of high energy physics is mostly via accelerators. And uh, here I refer to the Large Hadron uh, Collider, the LHC. And I think that, especially in the context of a general colloquium, it's worth spending a few minutes just uh, recalling ourselves the, 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 the incredible uh, uh, magnificence of these, uh, of these experimental tools that uh, they have been built. They are as uh, uh, outstanding as with the theoretical uh, and experimental efforts that are, are being put uh, in, uh <coughs> in our exploration of nature. So the LHC is this 27 kilometer proton-proton uh, uh, accelerator of protons colliding them uh, in several uh, interaction points, uh, feeding data to uh, seven experiments, four of which are uh, well known and, and they are large, ALICE, CMS, LACB and ATLAS, and then there are smaller experiments, uh, uh, TOTEM, LSCF and MEDAL, which are almost uh, uh, parasitic to, to the big ones. They, they, they are there and they benefit from the presence of the big experiments, they have their own uh, uh, activity, they are much more uh, focused. So the LHC accelerators, you know, you need to, to, to curve these protons. It's based on uh, bills on these uh, 1,232 uh, magnets, which are those really uh, steering the protons. V these are the, the fundamental objects, and I will spend a couple of slides uh, showing them. Uh, 7,000 GeV is the energy at which they are accelerated, and if you look at it in terms of literally what it means to go through a, a potential difference of uh, 7, uh, 10 to the 12 electron volts, that's trillion, uh, 5 trillions, 1.5 volt batteries, which, you know, if you were to buy them at the store, you look how big they are, and they would line up exactly between here and, uh, and the sun, that's about what it would take, so, and we squeeze all of these into 27 kilometers. So it is, a, in a sense, a quite uh, remarkable uh, feat. Uh, 7,000 GV means uh, being close to the speed of light uh, at that, uh, at that uh, level. And 350 megajoules is the amount of energy, the kinetic energy that's uh, stored into, into these beams. 
right now these uh, these dipoles they are 15 meters long they have a field uh, of uh, <coughs> eight uh, tesla it's a niobium titanium superconducting cable they operate well below the, the needed temperature of four uh, Kelvin needed f for superconductivity in order to have some some buffer so that they can actually withstand uh, such a huge uh, current and still remain uh, uh, superconducting. Uh, they are not straight because altogether we need to form a circle. So whenever you connect them, there is a slight bend, and this bend leads to pressures which are really immense, just because the forces due to this huge magnetic field are immense. We are talking about 1.5 tons per square centimeters. That's the pressure that these objects are subject to. So, and there is now 10 gigajoules, not megajoules, but gigajoules of magnetic energy which is stored in them when uh, when they are on. So it's really amazing, and if one starts looking inside of these magnets, again one finds an incredible subsequent uh, set of layers of, uh, of complexity. The LHC is something that uh, I like to call it, uh, it's like a fractal of complexity. I mean, we look at it at all scales, you start from the scale of a 27 kilometer tunnel, which is a tunnel where you, you have to know the position of every point to within uh, to within a millimeter, which means it's not just a standard, you know, highway uh, tunnel, but it's something extremely much more complicated. And then it goes down to the sub-millimeter size, for instance, of the filaments which eventually make uh, these, uh, these magnets. The magnets are built by winding up uh, a flat uh, cable. Each of these cables is made out of about uh, 30 uh, small uh, cables, strands, and each strand, each of these viewing section contains of the order of 10,000 superconducting filaments. And each of those filaments is a wire which is uh, a micron in size, few microns in size, and it has to be kilometers long because you can't afford, you, you have to use one in order to build a whole 15 meter uh, magnet, you can't afford to tie them up and to solder them if one is finished, right? And this kilometer long uh, micron, micron size uh, filament has to be perfect to the percent level because otherwise, of course, it will quench. So every small element of this project, forget about the experiments, forget about the physics, quantum field theory, the Higgs uh, by itself is really uh, a, piece, uh, a piece of art. Now, this is uh, the status of operation of the, of the accelerator as of uh, this year. The run of proton-proton collisions was just uh, completed a few weeks ago. This is a plot of, uh, through the year, of the amount of data that have been uh, provided. We call that uh, the integrated luminosity. We measure it in uh, femtobarns to the minus one. In the